In today's Little Farm story, we see a ridiculous clover proving that with enough motivation, a sheep can go anywhere. Hello, and welcome to Little Farm Stories. It's March 25th at Under the Feather Farm, and I'm Lisa Murata. Where there's a will. I built a creep feeder for the lambs. It's the area behind the rails and the 2x4 board. The idea of a creep feeder is to provide an area where the lambs have access to nice hay and sheep text that the ewes can't get into, because they'll gobble it all up. I usually use some other rails, but they're being used in a different place, so I put this together. The lambs here are on the outside, checking it out. I thought I had put the 2x4 low enough that the ewes couldn't get in there. I found out that if they're determined enough, they can. Belle and Flower understood the plan, but Clover, maybe still thinking she's a lamb because she's the youngest ewe, somehow managed to get in there. I wasn't sure how I was going to get her out, and figured if she was stuck in there for a while, she'd learn her lesson. She did try squeezing out under the board, but couldn't make it, so I figured she must have gone over. Her lambs are wondering what she was doing. So was I, actually. I found out that she does fit underneath, when she finally scooted out on her knees and belly. I thought since she'd gotten stuck and had such a hard time getting back out, that would cure her of trying again. Nope. After I topped up the lamb's dish again, in she went. I added another upright 2x4, and that has solved the problem. Thanks for watching. If you like this, click the like button and the subscribe button. Come back tomorrow, and we take a look at the lambs again, and see what Clover gets up to next. <laughs>